Right about now, you may be thinking, what in the world should we have for dinner? Kids are at school, plenty of time to go into the grocery store and pick up something really quick. Robin Levy right here is here to let us know from Stratford about a quick, easy meal. And uh, you're not spending too much at all with this. So Stratford University has allotted you a little bit of time as well. And you're preparing our meal, and it looks like we have some salmon. Is that right? Yes, we do. Okay, so as you continue to work here, um, we've got salmon on one side. I've got it in front of me, but then it looks like you have some colorful display of uh, ingredients as well over here. Can you tell me what's in front of you? In front of me, I have cilantro. I have red pepper, red onion, tomato, um, lemon and lime, and some green onion, mango, and pineapple. Okay, so we've got the man mango and the pineapple, and all of this you can find at any grocery store. I mean, this is uh, real easy, basic stuff. And then you could also find the mango and the pineapple already sliced for you there, too. Correct. Okay. So then, um, how long does it take to mix this up? Because our ultimate goal is making this what would you call this, goulash? No, that is a pico de gallo. Pico de gallo, all right. Yes. And then, um, and we're slicing and dicing as, uh, I guess it really, for each piece could be as thick as you want to make it. You want to make it about bite size. You don't want huge um, chunks. You want everything to be consistent okay. and about all the same size. So you're going to small dice it up. So everything so far I've told you about this is not true. We need to follow what Robin's saying here because she knows what she's talking about. I'm like, yeah, make big chunks. No, you don't. We want to dice it up. Okay, and then salmon. Um, so does it matter what type of fish or does it have to be on salmon? No, it can be any type of fish that you want. Um, okay. Salmon right now is kind of in season. You can catch it wild. Um, not yourself necessarily, right. but they have the different Wild varieties oh, inside yeah. the grocery store. You can put it on top of tilapia. It goes really well with tilapia, okay. um, which is a white fish. Okay, and then so. how long are we cooking the fish? Um, that's, that's pretty quick, right? Yes, um, you're cooking it at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. You want to check it and make sure that it doesn't burn or brown or anything right. like that. So you want to put olive oil down on the plate and or your baking sheet and okay. then you're going to put the salmon on top of there do okay. a little bit of salt pepper lemon juice and cilantro and that's it and we've got ourselves a nice little meal here for and is this is this one or two servings that we're looking this at? this is going to be two servings two servings so family of four look at that just double this recipe right here and we're good to go well it smells absolutely wonderful in here robin thank you very much again for these quick easy ideas for making mealtime fun too and actually you can have the kids help you out mix it all up to learn more, log on to foxbaltimore.com slash morning. We've got the recipe going on there for you.